Hey babes, welcome back to my channel and thanks for watching. About 10 days ago, it was uh, Metina and I's fifth anniversary. So today, makeup, it's gonna be anniversary makeup look. I decided to reuse um, the KKW Beauty and Mario collection. Sorry, my pen is like crazy dirty. <laughs> I use it only once on the channel. So I was like, why not? Let's use this one one more time for anniversary inspired makeup look. Here I am ready to beat up my face and put some makeup on and show that person who is the lucky one. You know what I'm saying, ladies? I'll start with my eyes because this shadow has a kick back to it. Powdery over here. So I'm gonna start with my eyes. Instead of explaining for straight up 10 minutes, I need to start doing it. How about that? How about that? Oh, I didn't even tell you. So I'm using the Tarte concealer, the um, tape shape. This concealer, it's very full coverage and pretty thick. It's a great concealer, but for some reason, I can't use it as a concealer. It's just a little bit too heavy for my under eye. It's better to use the same hand, like same side finger, <laughs> if it makes sense, rather than like doing this. It's way easier. I need to learn. I was saying, so what I was saying, I don't know. Oh, because it's heavy, it shows all my little bumps right over here and sinks into my lines. That's why I only use it to carve out my lid or prime my lid. I will set it with my Lockery powder. Just wash my brushes so they feel so good. This is Bobbi Brown Eye Blender. Bobbi Brown definitely makes good brushes. A little bit pricey. Okay, first thing first, we know I need a transition color. This color right over here, what is it? Miami. It's hard to figure this little chart out with this. I'm putting it slightly above my crease and kind of like wing it out. I do have a downturned, I hopefully I'm saying it right, downturned um, eye shape so I don't want to drag any eyeshadow down here in my outer corner because I don't want to drag my eye anymore I kind of want to lift my eye if you have an eye shape similar to mine this is one tip for you friend see I kind of created a um, lid for myself. I did a video on how to create or do the cut crease for beginners. So if you're interested, make sure to check that out. And if you pay attention, this eye is very different than this one. This one has much more fold and hood comparing to this one. And I tend to raise this one nonstop when I talk. It's pretty annoying. It got to the point that I kind of feel like I need to go get Botox. That way I just don't move my eyebrows non-stop. Sometimes it drives me crazy. So for this eye, since it's not that poofy, I tend to stay in the crease and not above it. You guys, this is a lighter leash. What is it? Oh, you put your lighter in here? Yeah, I see. Well, I'm not a smoker, but... <laughs> that would be so fun. Oh my god, hold on. I just put the lighter in there. That's what I'm trying to get it from you. Okay. Your lighter is ugly. Okay, let's see. Oh, it won't fit. Like this? No. Yes. Okay. Exactly like that. <laughs> Give me my candle. With a fluffier brush, I'm gonna go over everything that I 
did on my crease. Perfecto. I kind of want to use almost all the shiny colors. I don't know why. This bright color right over here and just put it in my crease to kind of give more depth to my lid because this girl needs it. You know I need it. The best brush for this is currently missing. I'm packing it on with this side of the brush and this is Stila number 30. It's a dual side. This is good for blending. It's a blending brush on one side and I use this for packing and blend it out. The only reason I packed it on right away very pigmented it's because eventually i'm gonna just cover my whole lid with this color so i'm just focusing in the crease area right now and then moving it down now i'm covering the whole lid with this color as my base i always like to go in with the clean brush and blend everything together and just wing this upward. The next color I'm using is the Glam. This one right here, I'm using my ring finger and I would put it on the center of my lid. I learned this is the best way to get the most pigment from these shadows. You can always spray them too, but I just like the way that I use the finger. I'm gonna use my pencil brush. This is It Cosmetic pencil brush and I'll dip it into Vegas. I'm gonna just give it a little like a V shape in the outer corner and just pack it. I'm gonna use the same blending brush that I used earlier and just blend out the corner and blend it with the bright color. Okay, now I think I need more of that glam color on my lid. I don't want to mix it with bronzy. This is a little bit darker, just like right between where this purple and the glam Meat. I'm gonna just put it right in between. Give it that ombre effect. For the inner corners, I will use a much smaller brush. And uh, let's see what I can find over here. Apparently I'm using a concealer brush for this, but this is from my brush set. And I will go in with the gold shade right over here because for my highlighter, I'm using a gold highlighter, so I kind of want to match my inner corner tear duct with my highlighter. For this one, I'm going to actually spray it with my setting spray, and I'm using a Marie, Mario, Mario, Mario um, skincare, the facial spray, the aloe and rose water. I'm addicted to this stuff, so I will spray my brush with this. I'll go do the same thing with this eye and I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, I got the eye makeup on, kind of. We're gonna do a cleanup. So I'm gonna grab a makeup remover wipe. I usually use Neutrogena. If you watch my empties, you know this is the only wipe I use. So I'm gonna just clean my under eye and just clean the edges right over here. I'm using one of my favorite primer, the Stila One Step Color Corrector. I did a video on this one too, and I did a little wear test. It's very hydrating too. That's what I really like, especially fall and winter time. I tend to use more hydrating Primers. You see, almost all my redness is gone. I'll use the Benefit Pore Minimizer Primer just like around my nose because I just hate 
the pores on the side of my nose. Funny story, one time I went to get a facial, just microdurbration. I found it on Yelp or Groupon, something like that. I think Groupon. Me thinking I'm using a coupon for like 40 bucks to get the microdurbration on my face. I go in, the lady um, who does the facial, she goes, let me examine your face. And she explained to me from A to Z, and she starts and say how awful my skin is basically and how my all my pores are so large I need to do the microblading and then use my own plasma on my face long story short she was like you can do payments I was like okay then how much is it why is she offering me payments the whole procedure was almost three thousand dollars so Anyways, obviously I didn't spend the $3,000, but I ended up spending $150 because she kind of forced me to do it. I left the spa, went into my car, calling Mateen and started crying over the $150 I spent that. I don't know why, but I felt like I was fooled into do something or force to do something that I didn't want to and for the longest time I was like I'm gonna go write a review about her and I end up just not doing it because I don't know I just don't like writing bad reviews I guess I don't know moving on recently what I love to do is using this Marc Jacobs the coconut dropper I used to always mix my foundations the thicker ones with face oil to kind of like dilute it and make my face more dewy that's how I like my foundation to be I found out this Marc Jacobs does magic so I started using this this is probably my fourth time using it and I love it love it I said all this to get to this point that I love it. Smells like coconut, it's very hydrating. I feel like I'm in Maui and it's just perfect. Then I'm gonna mist my beauty blender with my setting spray because it wasn't damped enough. This is actually real technique sponge and I'm loving it. Do you remember when I compare the Beauty Blender with the Morphe Beauty Sponge? I think that's what it's called. Now I'm addicted to this one. I barely use the Morphe one. So I either use this or the Beauty Blender if I feel more bougie. Moving on to the concealer, I'm using KKW Beauty number no. 7 to just correct this area just my inner corner and voila magic happened the bag is gone for the concealer I think you already know I'm going in with Too Faced Born This Way concealer I'm gonna just highlight my under eye the breach of my nose center of my forehead and a tiny bit on my chin and Cupid's bow. Spray it one more time. I don't know guys, should I do any like Halloween inspired videos? I don't know, what do you guys think? I just love this concealer. It's so lightweight, it looks amazing. Love it, love it, love it. To set my under eye, I'm using the Bobbi Brown brush again and dipping into my essence banana powder very lightly you know how you put your foundation up throughout the day you keep touching your face and it might get budged or move around so I totally was against like really powdering my face because I feel like when my face get dry and powder up it really shows the pores and every bumps on my face so what I've been doing recently is I use this La Prairie powder you can use any powder 
This one has a little bit tint to it, so it's not transparent. It's not translucent. And I use the same beauty blender that I've been using. Still it's damp, but not as damp as when I put on my foundation. Dip it into the powder very lightly and just stamp it super, super light all over my face. This way, I make the powder and liquid all melt together. For the nose, I tend to set it even more because we keep touching our nose. Now that everything is set in place, I'm gonna just contour my face with the powder. I skip the stick, so I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dolce de Leche. After contouring, I usually like to go in with my bronzer to just get rid of any harsh edges on my face and blend everything together and give my face a natural bronze. <laughs> no wonder Physician Formula bronzer. And just go over all the areas that I contour. For the blush, I'm using Tarte in shade Party. Using the pencil brush and I'll dip it in the plum color and bronzy at the same time on my lower lash line. Place it on the outer corner and kind of connect it up there. Doing the same thing here. Then I'll blend it out. You see, by connecting it, Right over here, I make him look more lifted. I'm just gonna do this off the camera. If you guys are interested to know how to do a wing liner, let me know. I can make a separate video for that. But it's just, it's gonna be boring, me sitting here and do it in like freaking million years. So I do that off the camera and I'll be right back. I'll do my eyebrows over here really quick. That way you know what product I'm using. I talked about this on the Sephora haul and I said I'm not too sure about how it's performing. Actually, I'm loving it right now. I know, indecisive person problems. And this is the Benefit um, Precise Brow in color 3.5. So I'm gonna brush my brows upward. It's your choice to choose doing your brows first or at the end. I don't have to draw my brows, so I just fill the arch in. I like to do it at last. I don't know why, but I just, this is the way that I'm used to. So I'm just filling it in. Brush it again, that way there is no harsh line. And doing the same thing with the other brow. Curl your eyelashes. I haven't curled my lashes. I can't find my curler. So, you know what I'm going through right over here. For mascara, I'm using my most favorite L'Oreal. To just finish up my eyes, I'm gonna highlight my tear duct with the gold color Armenian again. Oh, see, my nose is already itchy. And Lo uh, 2008 color, just emphasize it on the tear duct. Also put loyalty right below my brow, on my brow bone. And I like using my finger to blend it out. Highlighting my face with my favorite Persona Cosmetic, the Glam Glow in shade Zuma. You see, it's already like almost there. Highest point of my face. If you wanna do a more dramatic look, you can definitely use fake lashes, but I just didn't. And for the lips, I'm using Buxom Lip Liner in Incognito. This is from my recent vlog video when I went to Ulta and they had the 50% sale. So I'm just gonna line my lips 
and at the same time fill it in nothing too crazy over here I love mixing different lipstick together so that's what I'm about to do I'm going in first with KKW nude number no. three and to just darken it up and give it more of a fall anniversary <laughs> look I'm going in with Chanel number 122 and slightly go over it that was it guys this is my anniversary inspired look using kkw x mario palette i hope you liked it if you did you know the drill like this video subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get all the notification whenever i post over here and i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching stay beautiful bye